before we get there, I just want to share with you something I did in this speech already. This is something that, not just the words, but the attitudes. It's a pyramid. And I, I get a lot of these things from a guy named Jack Lanham, who wrote a book called People First. It's a pyramid. I'm proud of you. I started telling people this. I, I am. And I was genuine. You can, you know, I'm not trying to manipulate people. You've got to be genuine in this. Find something you can be proud of somebody with. I am proud of you because MMFI, that makes people feel important. And then, I believe in you. I believe you can do it. Have you heard this phrase? Seeing is believing. Yeah. I need to see it before I believe it. Well, great leaders turn it backwards. Right. Believing is seeing. Yes. Yeah. I believe in you before you ever did it. I told a lot of people that a lot of people are, I've visited Tosa Tos Petaluma are here and Champagne uh, Breakfast Club. And, and I've visited a lot of clubs. And they ever said, how are you doing on your speech? And I said, well, I just need you to believe in me. Because when you believe in me, I believe in myself. I believe in you. And then I need you. I can't do it myself. I need you. People want to be needed, don't they? Yeah. And just say thank you. And everything you do, thank you. And then like I said, yes, you expect success. Permission to succeed and permission to fail. This failure is an opportunity to succeed. If you fail 88 times, then you just say, well, it's an 89 step process for our success. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's get to the third one, excellent. Creating and maintaining. You wanna recognize people and celebrate things like voting in Chicago, early and often. <laughs> early and often. <laughs> Recognize immediately, reward only desired behavior, address undesirable behavior, eliminate obstacles, and celebrate early and often. Okay, so here's the deal. You need to build trust. I want you to put your pens and papers down and just follow my hand motions. There are seven things to building trust with people. Okay? If you get nothing else, here's, here's something for you. I got this from Jack Ryan. Number one, character. Do this. This is like a mask. A mask is, uh, when you don't have integrity, you wind up being different than who you're showing on the outside. So be real about who you really are. Character. The second hand motion is competence. I can do it, competence. The third one is confidence. Confidence. The fourth one is caring. Caring. And the fifth one is communication. You're typing. Communication. <laughs> The sixth one is, you know those Swiss watchmakers, they're so dependable? Consistency. Consistency. And I told you I was married for 31, going on 32 years, wedding ring, commitment. Commitment. I'm going to throw an eighth one in there just for fun. Celebrate! <laughs> Celebrate! <laughs> okay, so let's go through those one more time. Character. Competence. The P. Competence, not confidence. Competence. Then confidence, care, communication, consistency, commitment. I'll do it one more time. Let's do a little faster. Character, confidence, confidence, care, communication, consistency, commitment. You got it? All right. Well, my time is up, and so I'm going to tell you, we had this celebration just this last September, I mean December, with the Christmas holiday, and these are just the people who were left over. We had a standing room only. We had about 30 people crammed in a, a conference room that was only for 18, but this, this, I'm so proud of these people. I'm so, so proud of not only these people, but the people who, they are my purpose partners. They're my partners. I mean, I can tell you a story about every single one of them, but we don't have time. Okay. <laughs> Conclusion. I brought something. Somebody else asked, what the, the world is that? Well, when I graduated high school in 1980, I got all these gifts, and I only have two things left from 1980. One is this bottle of English leather cologne. <laughs> I put a whole bunch of, I don't know if you smell them, but some old guy kind of cologne today, but that was what it was. In fact, uh, the label came off. But the second thing is this clay bird. So you see up there, this clay bird. This, remember, reminds me of Miss Rosen. 
I'm getting emotional again. My mother invited Miss Rosa to my high school graduation where I was a valedictorian. She started me on that at a young age. She gave me the vision because she believed in me. She believed this little six-year-old boy who was going through a lot of trials could be valedictorian. You, as leaders, believe in the people you work with because I believe in you. You can believe in them and they're going to do crazy great things. I mean, you, with a quote from John Quincy Adams, six U.S. president, if your actions inspire others to dream more, to learn more, to do more, and become more, then you are a leader. Can you get someone to dream more, to be more, do more? I know you can. You're a leader. How do you know if you're a leader? Not because of title, because you get people to follow you. Yes. Mr. Thank you very much, everyone. Once again, another round of applause. Thank you. We wanted to present you with something here for showing us for us and giving this wonderful speech today from uh, District 57 with our certificate of appreciation. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jeff.